part of it is the world around us, you know, is the world around us is changing and so the demographics around us are changing and so we need to adapt to that. When Dr. Taylor arrived at Cabrini, he had um, a vision in mind for you know, where the college needs to get to in 2020. And a big part of that is increasing our Hispanic and um, international population. So really the goal for that arrived when DT arrived at Cabrini. So our Cabrini 2020 Roadmap to Growth plan, uh, it's actually several things. It's a strategic plan for the institution. It's a vision for us becoming a comprehensive university and not just a residential uh, undergraduate campus. It's a business model and an enrollment management strategy. Uh, when I became president at Cabrini, I came in. I looked to see what um, kind of what the business model was. Cabrini had traditionally only had two funnels for students. So the undergrad funnel was for the residential students, and then grad was largely in just education. There were a couple of other programs, but 95% of the other graduate students were education and many of them were off campus um, at 13 different sites with different school districts. So one of the things I felt that we needed to do significantly was diversify our enrollment portfolio, which means we would have a diversified business model. In order to be a Hispanic serving institution, the federal government has defined that as an institution having 25% of their um, undergraduate enrollment coming from Hispanic students, so that's the firm number. And then DT has envisioned 10% um, of our undergraduate population being international students. We're tuition driven institution, which means we're enrollment driven. And so if you only have really two portals of students coming in, then if one happens to decline, then that affects your business model. When we enroll students, we really want to kind of do everything we can to help them succeed. If, if you've looked at any of Cabrini's history, you know that in you know 2007, 2008, we had very large enrollments. Um, and then as the demographics in the area and nationally began to change, we started a decline. Um, we sort of Hit, <laughs> hit a bottom there um, a couple years back and have made some really great strides in um, stabilizing our traditional undergraduate enrollment. So it's been a little bit of a roller coaster, but for the past three years we've been at a nice even line uh, when everyone else in the area seems to still be dipping up and down. So before I got here as president, I looked up and we had less than a hundred, I think, completed applications from um, Hispanic students. So I'm finishing up my second year recruiting the third class of students for, the, for next year. We have over 400 applications from next year in from New Jersey all the way through the greater uh, Southeast Pennsylvania. And our, um, so every year we've grown by at least 100 or so, 150 um, uh, of students. So one of the things we did was we had to go out and I had to get out in the community and really increase our community awareness, our brand. Really a, a formalized vision and, and being charged with, you know, what are the strategies and how are we going to get from point A to point B. That's really the change is that it's become much more strategic and intentional on both of those, um, those recruitment fronts for Hispanic and international. The worst thing we could do is just say, hey, we're just going to keep doing things the way that we've always done it for the last 60 years, because uh, that would be ignoring the, the fact that the world has changed a lot. And so, uh, um, so we're now looking to recruit new kinds of students that we had not always in the past, but those are the students that are out there that really kind of deserve a Cabrini education as much as anybody else. And that's, that's a range, so what we, you know, we've seen a, a big difference in the cultural diversity of our students coming in. That's not only kind of a good thing for enrollment, but it's a, I would say it's a good thing for education. Like I think your education is a better education the more diverse our student body is. And looking at the, the national trends and especially the regional trends in the Philadelphia area, you know, the number of traditional um, undergraduate students, seniors graduated from high school has been a continual decline and it's not going to change anytime soon. So in order for us to be sustainable as an institution, we need to be able to diversify our recruitment streams. We need other groups of students that we can recruit to kind of fill that gap is one, uh, one reason why. And the other is who we are as an 
institution. Um, you know, what? How does that relate back to our mission and, our, and, and you know our, our our founding patron saint um, Saint Francis Xavier Cabrini? It all ties together. So, um, I think that you know it's important that when we look at what we're doing, we look at it from both lenses.